This is a sign for any of you guys who might have wanted to start something. Never thought I would be reading about dragons and magic. The podcast will be called... Welcome back to another video. It has been a good morning so far and I'm feeling like this is gonna be a very productive day. So I thought I'd take you guys along, have my breakfast, got my little to-do list ready to go. Today, there's gonna be a few content things, but also one really, really exciting passion project that I've been starting that I'm gonna finally reveal with you guys. So you guys may or may not know, but I've mentioned a couple of times that I've actually wanted to start a podcast for quite a while and I'm excited to share that I've actually been doing some behind the scenes planning that I'm gonna finally share with you guys today. A big reason why I've been putting off starting a podcast is that it's actually felt pretty daunting, especially when there's so many different factors to consider, trying to get the perfect audio, video, editing. It feels like a whole thing. That's why I'm so excited to be working with the sponsor of today's video, Riverside. Riverside makes it easier than ever to start your podcast journey and record studio quality interviews no matter where you or your guests are. Recording interviews over the internet can be hard, especially with unstable internet connections. But unlike other platforms, Riverside records all of your audio and video files locally on your computer to make sure the recordings are always high quality and smooth. You guys know how much time I spend on editing, so I really wanted to make podcast production as seamless as possible so I can actually focus on the content of the podcast itself, which we'll talk a bit more about later. With Riverside's text-based editor, you're basically slicing through the podcast with the ease of editing a Word document, which is such a massive time saver. And once I'm ready to roll out the video portion of my podcast, you best believe I'll be pumping out the shorts. To make that easier, the Magic Clips tool helps you find the most compelling moments and instantly creates engaging short form clips for you. Plus, you'll get perfectly synced captions that you can tailor to your style. And Riverside isn't just for podcasters. You can upload your videos and get super accurate and customizable transcripts and captions for your other content too. So if you're looking to start your podcast journey or looking to make your production process faster, click the link below and use the code Celine for 15% off of your Riverside Pro subscription. Thank you again to Riverside for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I'm so excited to be sharing this podcast finally and I have been doing some planning and brainstorming of ideas and the type of content that I wanna make in it. I'm still working on it, but I'm hoping by the end of today that I'll have a better structure. But before I actually get to that, I had a couple of things on my list I wanna get done. If you guys don't know, I'm currently taking a break from work and I haven't had a job. So a lot of my time has been spent working on content and my passion projects, which I've been really loving. So I'm gonna get a couple things done on my laptop. I wanna to respond to some of your guys' comments. I respond to as many of them as I can. And then I wanna also edit a couple photos to post on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram if you don't already follow me, shameless plugs. So I'm just gonna spend some time on my computer. And then what else is happening today? I actually have a few things for cleaning that I wanna do. You can't really see, but there's recycling items that need to get thrown out. I'm gonna get a little gym workout in. It's gonna be a good day. And I'm also planning to go to a coffee shop later just for a change of scenery. And I think that'll help me really focus on finishing some of the things I have planned for this podcast. <laughs>
flattened some boxes and then there's some stuff there from when I decluttered my closet. That video should be up by now if you want to see how that went, but I'm going to take this stuff down in a second. But first, I just want to catch you up on what my plan is for the day or this afternoon, basically. I'm going to go to a coffee shop. I just feel like being in a different environment has been good for my mental health and it's actually sunny now. It was not sunny this morning, so I'm going to take advantage of that and get out of the apartment. Like I said, I was just responding to some comments and emails. I also got a little bit of planning done for my podcast. I guess I'll just share with you a bit more before we go to the coffee shop because that's what I want to work on mostly is the plan, the branding, and everything like that. This is all new to me, so I'm just figuring it out as I go. I know branding and having a good strategy or idea of what I want the podcast to be about is going to be really important. So the quick summary is the podcast will be called Nothing Really Matters. It is going to be hosted by me, of course. The goal I really want to focus on the podcast is just to have some honest, raw conversations, dive into things related to self-improvement, inner reflection, and relationships with yourself and others. So all the types of things I think I've covered in some of my videos, but not in as much depth as I wish. And to be honest, it's something I probably could do on this channel, but I just think there's something about a podcast and the format is quite different from typical videos and I know I'm getting kind of technical about all of it but that's the gist of it and that's why I've decided to make a podcast instead of talking more about these topics here. I think it'll be on Spotify, Apple Music, I think. I actually need to set it up still so that's one of the things I want to do when we get to the coffee shop. I've also started some of the cover art so I have a few options but I'm still trying to figure out what to move forward with. I'm just having a lot of fun with it especially because it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. This is a sign for any of you guys who might have wanted to start something and for some reason you've been held back or you've been hesitant. There's no better time than now and I gave myself the goal of wanting to do this by the end of the year basically and I am actually going to be able to achieve that which is super amazing honestly the worst that can happen is nobody listens to it and in that case I would have just talked to myself for a few hours and that's totally fine because I do that anyways. So that's the gist. I hope you guys will join me. The exciting news is by the time that this video is out, I will have the first two podcast episodes uploaded. It is going to be audio only for now, but I'm planning to do video eventually. So I will have the YouTube channel in the description if you guys want to subscribe. And that's my big announcement. I wanted to fit it into the middle of this video because honestly, this podcast is probably mostly for you guys that actually watch the full way through and yeah i'd love to know if you guys get a chance to listen what you guys think but as i'm recording this video in real time i'm still finishing the setup which is super exciting so we're gonna go to a little coffee shop i'm gonna drop off this recycling and stuff along the way and then hopefully get a bunch of stuff done <laughs> guys we are back that was actually a really good use of time honestly i wasn't sure whether or not it'd be worth leaving the apartment today not gonna lie it kind of motivated me that i am vlogging because i was like might as well give you some content outside of this apartment but yeah the coffee shop was super cute it's called wallace espresso i believe been there once before but they didn't have all the chairs out i don't know about you guys but every time i work at a cafe or something i smell like coffee beans. <laughs> I showed you guys quickly some of the options for the cover photo and I think they're fine but to be honest I'd rather try to get something more professional. So I actually reached out to a photo studio and I think I'm gonna try to get a shoot there so we'll see if I end up liking those pictures. But that's basically what I worked on but I'm feeling kind of hungry now so I'm gonna heat up some soup. I think I'm gonna read a little bit and then I'm gonna take Bean for a quick walk before we go to the gym. We have some butternut squash soup that Trevor made. I'm gonna heat it up. Not for you, Bean. We've got our soup, which does not look very appetizing, but I promise you it is yummy. It is kind of really spicy because I don't know why Trevor put like a bunch of cayenne pepper in it. <laughs> 
but we love spice here, so it's all good. Speaking of spice, <laughs> I am currently reading A Court of Frost and Starlight. Frost and Starlight, yes. This is the fourth book in the Akatar series. I've been mentioning my current reads just to keep you guys updated if you're looking for inspo, but I basically flew through the first three books and I'm obsessed with them. Like, I think they are my favorite books that I've read this year, but this is a novella, so it is pretty short. Before this book, I just finished Iron Flame, and that's also another fantasy book. Never thought I would be reading about dragons and magic and fairies this much, but that's where I'm at with my life. I would say it was good, especially if you like Fourth Wing, but it kind of made me miss Sarah J. Mass, who's the author of the Akatar series, so I decided to read this book. And that's what I'm gonna do while I'm enjoying my soup. This is the state of my outfit. I no longer care what I look like at the gym, so yeah. I've just taken a shower and I'm feeling squeaky clean. I'm gonna make some dinner. Trevor's on his way back home. So we'll have dinner together once he gets back. Just to be honest, I didn't do that much in the gym. I was actually feeling kind of faint. I think it's because it's almost that time of the month for me. So that's a piece of advice for the girls out there. When it's almost that time of the month or when you are on your period, I would just say like, you should not put that much stress on your body and I don't know why I decided to go to the gym but I ended up doing some stretches and I do feel better so what's for dinner? We're gonna do a meal kit I've used them on and off for a while and I do like the options that they have and they give you some ideas for recipes in my den. Quick update actually since I'm here. I got a new monitor and updated the setup a little bit so I'll just show you guys quickly. Basically the monitor that I had, it's actually kind of sad because I got that off Facebook marketplace for like $60 and then it fell and completely broke. I was hoping to eventually upgrade to a nicer monitor but as luck would have it I didn't have a choice so I got a new monitor. It's actually way bigger than the one I had before and then I've just changed up the setup a little bit. So this is what she's looking like and it's kind of messy but this is the screen and then I have my laptop on the stand there. I got this stand from Amazon which I will link in the description and then this is the mouse that I typically use but I actually got loaned so kindly from my friend Taryn. He's actually from the Accelerated program but he has this trackpad and I was wanting to try it before so I'm currently testing it out to see if I actually want to invest in one. I don't know how I feel about it but that's that, and then this is the keyboard that I have. I will be updating my planner, which you guys would have seen earlier, and this is what it looks like inside. This is actually from the line. It's a new planner that's actually in collaboration with Miss Zoe Pritchard. I'm sure you guys watch Zoe or know of her, but I love that it has gentle productivity, and it's been super nice, because you guys know I've been trying to reduce my screen time, and now I have some space to like put this into this little nook. So that's a quick little update. I have one last cookie. That's going to be my dessert because when it's that time of the month, you need some sweets. I just wanted to say it's been so fun taking you guys along and I'm kind of shook that by the time that this video comes out, you guys will be able to check out the podcast for yourself. So make sure to check the links in the description and let me know what you guys think. Last cookie. But as I'm enjoying this cookie, I'm actually about to have a little FaceTime call with two fellow YouTubers. If you guys don't know them already, I'll put their channels on the screen but Brielle and Amina started like a little group chat and it's been really sweet to get to know them and talk with them so I'm gonna jump on that call and that's basically how I'm gonna wrap up this video oh ballin oh I put my headphones in oops okay here say it again Already and Brielle's channel if you aren't already. I hope you guys are having a very good Thanksgiving. I don't know when you're gonna post this. Um, <laughs> if you're in the US or it's just November in gen general. So yeah. Killing it. I'm Amina. Oh. Amina's so 
good at talking to vlog cameras. Yeah. When, as soon as I turned mine on, she was like, it's the adrenaline, 100% the adrenaline. Because I don't want to like disappoint you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Love it. Love Amazing.